Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. This is a brand new game on the PlayStation VR 2. This game is also coming to the Quest. And I also believe the game's on Steam. The game's called Soul Covenant. And I've got like this really cool demon looking left hand. In front of me are my general settings. English, text language, subtitles. I'll leave those on for the video. Confirm. Dominant hand, I'm right handed. My height's about right, I guess. And there's me. I look really, really cool. So this game looks like it's going for an anime type vibe. I can choose my form. Okay, let's select this character. That's changing the color of the leather like on the shoulders. So let's go for red. That looks really cool. Um, I can rotate the body. Confirm my settings. I'll always be by your side. I make this vow with my soul so that you'll overcome death. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. Okay, there's some crunching going on in my ears. Like crunching bones. Okay, this looks really nice. Oh, I'm in a vat. A vat of water. Look. Okay, Soul Covenant. Press any button. The final line of defense has been breached. Non-combatants must evacuate. The enemy is predicted to arrive in 11 hours. Non-combatants must evacuate. This is quite a cool sensation. I do like Looks how there's like... like you're awake. Can you hear my voice? Bubbles on my hands. Quickly, touch the baptismal panel. The world will be formatted soon. The special effects are really, really cool. My controllers are vibrating. Well, this is your re -in device. Advent of the Revelation nanomachines commence. Establishing near death link to the database of the dead. Cyberbrain limbo. The Ravine project. I just got an near achievement. Near death dive to phase two. Divine Oracle receptor confirmed. You are an avatar, a clone. You will be given memories of the dead. The mech regime rules over the world, while the remaining humans resist. As we speak, the enemy approaches humanity's last hope, Tokyo Ark. The Re-In Project aims to resurrect Messiah. Your body is the vessel. I'm really enjoying the intro. Hello. This is Cyberbrain Limbo, a database of the dead. You are directly linked through the near-death connector of your device. Please come this way. Okay. Oh, there's a really nasty vignette when I move. I need to turn the vignette off if I can. I hope there's an option in the menu. Unfortunately, your individuality cannot remain as that may pose conflict. We thank all deaths that lead us to the future. Humanity has no time. Let us begin. Commencing re-in program, your first death. Press the console, we're going to die already. Please execute the re-in program. Please select your first experience. Um, Sayoda Front 1. Mech Regime Year 0013. An AI named Adam continues his massacre in the name of governance. 
to resist the Mech Corps, humanity formed the Enhanced Human Avatar Forces. Captain Julia of the 7th Troop. She defended me for a mistake I made, paying the cost with her head. Don't worry about me. Those were her dying words. She was back, days later. I could grip her exposed, reinforced spine. She became a scapegoat, a special anti-mech core weapon. These weapons are made from the dead bodies of our comrades. So I'm earning quite a lot of trophies. That's going to let you know this is my first time playing the game. You will be experiencing memories of battle. Actual deaths. Okay. Um, I guess we go into battle. The 3D effects are really prominent. Oh wow, look at those mechs. Vital signs are stable. The Rein device is storing biometric logs every second. Booting Regil, the evangelical communicator. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Okay, so I'm in a world that's been ravaged by these machines. Look, you can see the uh, tendrils or the tentacles going through the buildings. Booting Regil. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Okay, that's right in front Scapegoat of my face. Scapegoat underworld connection completed. Maintaining the Oracle Receptor's high order Oracle stream. The late Captain Julia left this in her will, launching the combat instruction program. Complete the combat instructions. Start. Soldier, B0307. Can you hear me? Loud and if clear. you're seeing this, it must mean I'm no longer in the world of the living. Okay. My only regret is leaving you so early. I can't die feeling like this. I'll leave you with what I couldn't teach you. Let's start with a review. Take a step back for me. Go back. Press the X button. So we need to back step three times. That's jump. One, two, three. Performing a back step when moving around will allow you to move quickly. Try it out later. These are the basic movements. Are you starting to remember? Come here. Yeah, that vignette's horrible. Okay, let me try to find an option menu. Okay, options. Um, general settings, damage pop-ups. Revival guide. Reset FOV. Move camera. Comfort, okay. Motion sickness off. The vignette is gone, that's good. But we have snap turning. Can I turn snap turning off? Options, snap turning. I guess it's this one here. Off, okay. There we go, smooth turning, no vignette. This is perfect. It's time to learn how to wield a scapegoat. You'll be given a weapon made from my bones. I left that as part of my will. Receptors in enhanced humans turn rigid after death. They become a special material called relic bodies. Now, take hold. Grab my spine. Grab her spine. The lip syncing's a bit out of sync. Okay. How do... How do my remains look to you? Turn that sense of loss for your comrades into strength. That's a big Try weapon. Try testing out your power. Are there any enemies nearby? Can't see any. Hostile monad reactions detected. Follow Captain Julia's advice and destroy them. 
Okay, so now we're getting into the combat. There's a shadow on the floor for my weapon, but not for my avatar. Okay, he looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. That looks like something out of a horror film. Yeah, that felt quite nice. Some nice haptics on the... Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. That was two-handed. You can deploy a shield to whichever arm isn't your dominant one, your civil arm. Use your shield to block enemy attacks from the front. Keep an eye on your shield's endurance. There we go. Okay, I can see my shield. Slowly going down, look. Guard against attack. There's one. There's Take two. care of any remaining enemies. Afterwards, let's move on to the next wave. Scapegoats have a metamorphosis function. Hold it with both of your hands. Yes. The scapegoat acts as a gravestone for your fallen comrades. Hold it in grace and prayer. Use both of your hands and try it out. Okay. Metamorphosis widens your attack. However, you no longer have access to your shield. Make sure to use it when the time is right. Now it's time to show you the finishing blow. Enemy mech suited for training found. Transmitting coordinates now. Your finishing blow is an attack with your scapegoat in its metamorphic state that eradicates the enemy. You can send enemy mech flying behind you, smashing them into other enemies. Okay, let's get it down to the uh, special move. Now this menu gets in the way of your of the uh, tutorial, so it's hard to see the mech with the, this menu here but I think it will disappear once we've um, completed the tutorial okay that's a cool move it can help you out when you're surrounded just don't put all your focus on attacks let go of your weapon to regenerate health okay it may be best to step back when you feel that you're in danger it's time to see if you remember everything Nothing like a real battle to learn the ropes. Enemies found. Use what you have learned to destroy the enemy forces. The game's running super smooth. Okay, here we go. So we can dodge backwards. Okay, can we knock this into the other ones? There we go. Shield. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So, soldier B0307. What do you think? Can you make it without me? There is no time left to grieve. Loss is vengeance. I'm ready. Turn despair into strength. Throw away your human feelings to seize the future for humankind. Okay, we earned a trophy. Found no memories. Instructions complete. A thousand points. Okay, so we completed the uh, battle. I guess we're going to activate the logs. I did see a note from the developers to say that the the Quest version is not going to look as nice as the Steam version or the PlayStation VR 2 version. If you're going to get this game on Quest, just bear that in mind.
Captain Julia taught the newcomers. I learned a lot from her. Like how Tokyo in the past was a vibrant, flourishing city. We're gonna take it back. I want to witness that moment with everyone. Her dreams were pulverized, along with her skull. Her limp body remained. We must turn our grief into strength to survive. The death of one strengthens another. We pass along the baton of hope. This is why the troop members say this phrase to each other. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. Okay, the Sayoda Front 2. Activate. The mech regime turned Tokyo into rubble. The central AI Adam was originally created to find true world peace. That's when he began thinking of himself a proxy of God. Adam's idea of God is to be the object of awe, one of overwhelming fear. The mech whore massacred any human that disobeyed. Tokyo Ark is the last point of resistance for mankind. Transmission to Regel incoming. Additional mech angels en route. Stop them from invading Tokyo okay. Ark. Failure will result in the end of humankind as we know it. Time for battle. Win conditions, complete combat instructions, fail conditions, none. Okay, so we're in the same arena. Vital signs are stable. The re-in device is storing biometric logs every second. Booting Regal. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Maintaining the Oracle Receptor's high order Oracle stream. Continuing the combat instruction program. That icon makes me feel like I'm wearing a helmet. And the icon's just on the front of the glass. So let's discuss your re-in device. It logs your biometric readings every second. It also stores all memories, like video and audio from Raquel. The re-in device is the bracelet on your dominant arm. Try pressing the button. That one. You probably won't find much on there yet. As time passes, you'll see external memory information displayed. You'll get a lot of these from the enemy's monads. Let's move on. Go ahead and close up your re-in device. I'm glad you put an M there, not a G. I might as well tell you about those two. Enemies suitable for training found. Transmitting coordinates now. Destroy the targets. Okay. On the down. mech prey on people and devour their memories. The stolen memories are stored on crystalline media called monads. Destroying an enemy exposes their monad. Extend your civil arm, your non-dominant one, to import the monad. Okay. Merging function unlocked. You can now collect monads. Extend your Sybil arm and face your palm toward far away oh. monad crystals to ingest them. There we go. Repeat this to store up energy and release it in one big move. Keep collecting monads until your arm flashes red.
combat does feel a bit lackluster. Okay, we can collect all the uh, Come back when you've collected enough. So the combat does feel a bit simplified. There's like just one move. Um, three strikes on the enemy, they're dead. There doesn't seem to be like any variation on the uh, combat attacks. After storing up enough monads, you can unleash demonic burst. The light is a beacon of rebellion against the god who created it. Powerful enough to wipe out a legion of enemies. Go ahead, try it out. Okay, at least we're getting a new move. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, firing the laser out of your arm. I do like that. Now come back. That might just be everything. Soldier B0307, my next order for you will be my last. Survive. Okay. I rest in the weapon you hold in your hands. I will always be with you. Okay. Survive for the future. You are the proof I ever existed. End report. Terminating combat instruction program. Her legacy is in my hands. I guess that's the tutorial over. I want to go in there. Most of the troops leave a will. The captain left me a video message. Hope you know you caused me a lot of trouble, rookie. The captain died while covering for that rookie. Eve said that her death was unnecessary. What drove the captain to her actions is unquantifiable. That's why I couldn't help but think about how she felt. Pick up my bones. And move forward. I'll be there, fighting on by your side. She's still alive in the weapon I hold. At least, that's what I choose to believe. Sometimes things would be easier if I were a machine. I wouldn't have to feel this grief all the time. Nice scoping scale with the screen. They look quite big. Okay, on to number three. Tokyo Ark gives shelter to generations of precious survivors. Enhanced Avatar humans fight to protect this last stronghold of humanity. We are genetically modified with the Divine Oracle Receptor, gaining receptivity to the Midicode, the Word of God. We communicate with the Higher Order Zeroverse Layer, our body's vessels that merge with a metaphysical presence. It's said that our power is a miracle, like the revelations and divinations touted by great historical figures. 90% of our avatars die within the first year. Many are destined to become prey to the mech weapon Deus Ex Machina. Should the gods of mechanism reach Tokyo Ark, 
The remastering will bring an end to the world as we know it. Okay, so what are those points over there? Can I move over here? What are these? What's this? Uh, okay, that's the same interface. Hello. So is this like a multiplayer game? Are these for different players? Okay, let's go into battle. I hope it's not another tutorial. Who's that? Booting Rigel. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. The enemy attacked this vicinity the other day. Captain Julia covered for you at the cost of her head. A few hours ago, another squadron encountered the same enemy forces. A battle ensued, oh, leading to defeat. We must prevent further invasion. We must be willing to use the dead as a wall. Destroy all enemy mechs. Okay guys, are you ready? Are these bad guys? No. Uh. Arise! I'm so sorry. Everyone else was killed. She's got a nice sword. Okay, so this is like multiplayer with AI box. Captain this just means we need to avenge her death. Okay, grab all the energy so that we can use our special weapon. You, I'm sorry. At the moment, I these don't, uh, robots don't, don't seem anymore. much of a threat. You don't get all timid after one loss. To run away is to cause a million deaths. We must protect Tokyo Arc, even with a wall of bodies. Okay, can we activate my hand? Not yet. Yeah. Being hesitant, there's no way to celebrate the late Captain Julia. Yeah, That's I don't perceive these uh, robots as a threat. They feel more like cannon fodder. It looks just like Master Monad response confirmed. This is a god of mechanism. Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina have weak points where attacks can do more damage. You can use the search function in Regal to learn more. Try updating Regal after approaching the Deus Ex Machina. Don't come over here! Please! Okay, he looks amazing though. Okay, how do I do my special weapon again? Try updating Regal after approaching the Deus Ex Machina. We can't let it invade. The remastering will begin again. Kill it! Don't let them near Tokyo Art. Okay, he looks more of a threat. I think this is the same mech that pulverized Captain Julia's head. Perhaps. Hit in the head. I should have ducked out of the way there. points that do not match previous data. For example, there appears to be a humanoid face on the next body. Ah! 
Okay, let go of my weapon to regenerate health. Look out of the way. That does look cool. I must admit, okay, so when he strikes, maybe jump back and then hit him in the head. Watch his tail. Don't look at me with that face! Wait, wait th this is... I could do with a dash move. Oh, you can. So if I push forward on my thumbstick, I can dash into the enemy as well, look. They don't tell you that in the uh, tutorial. Told you, didn't I? Oh, okay, more bad guys. Take out the bad guys, get some more energy. I need my special weapon again. My burst is ready. Yes. I wish I could be with you again. Captain Julia! are retreating. After defeating a Deus Ex Machina, you can find memory dense monads. Good job. High These five. Memory dense monads are filled with the memories of those who fell prey to the High mech. five. If you take them back to Tokyo Arc for analysis, High five. they may provide you with some insight. Okay, I think I killed him. I've got some items as well. Okay, so I did receive some mods. Falling prey to the Deus Ex Machina induces a special metabolic event by the Metacode. All matter gets converted into zeros and ones before being taken in. The results may extend to changes in its outer shell. I saw a familiar face carved into the enemy's mech. Having learned human emotion, the mech used our voices to wear us down. It was Captain Julia's face. This was the same mech that tore her apart. I was supposed to fight this thing? I couldn't keep a grip on my scapegoat. All I could do was watch the enemies retreat. Okay, I'm not allowed to show you any more gameplay after this mission, I do believe. Eve said that wasn't Captain Julia. The cold-hearted AI ordered us to fight. We went to the enemy base, the Nexus. I always think of the captain's words before fighting. Leave your human feelings behind. Never had it been more difficult. The mech with the captain's face said in her voice, Help me! My human heart, which I was supposed to leave behind, it always gets in the way. Maybe the soldiers recite that vow as a way to cope with this grief. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. I reaffirmed my grip on her spine as if I were sending it my prayer. Scapegoat morning function unlocked. 
press memory transfer. Okay. Invoke memories buried in scapegoats and mourn the warriors who are here no more. Pray for the scapegoats. So is this going to be a new ability? Pick up my bones and move forward. Scapegoats are the gravestones of warriors. Their management is the core function of the database of the dead. Offer Monad points to strengthen your connection to the underworld. Your dead comrades will help you even more. You can perform an upgrade after increasing your scapegoat level. Okay, begin the upgrade. Coffin and a blue panel will appear. Grasp and move it to switch out your scapegoat. Okay, you have to twist it. Okay, you grab the uh, coffin, you twist it round. Exit your morning when ready. We must move on with the Rian program. That took me quite a while to figure out. Mohad Fallon. Cyberbrain Limbo Monad Library unlocked. You can see all of your acquired data here. Holy Mother Monad. Okay. I guess we're going into the. Uh, Back into the game. I'm going to complete the battle and then we'll end the video. So I should have a new weapon. Booting Rigel. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. The old underground highway is dotted with enemy strongholds. The Nexus, an important mech organ, is our landmark. This time, we will be taking the initiative. We must break this deadlock before our defenses collapse. Destroy the boss within the time limit. This operation is a battle for control. Enter the enemy's nexus and destroy them. The nexus connects to a mechanical root, Nidhogg, that spreads across the ground, converting materials into energy. It is a power source for enemy forces. Retreating mech will always return there. I repeat, that is the enemy. Refusal to fight is a death sentence. The target mech is now named the Holy Mother. Please take it down. Okay, so my weapon has been upgraded, but I feel like it was already powerful. Like I said, these mechs are not really a threat look. They don't really do anything. The enemy learns from the memory. In many cases, they turn into godlike beings as a result of learning what humans potentially fear. However, the changes we can see taking place with the Holy Mother are a little different. Mech angels sure are big. Okay, is this a new robot? Monad response confirmed. Caution is advised. Yeah! Damn it! The enemy is trying to confuse Yeah, the combat is very lackluster. They may be beginning to understand the mechanisms of emotion from their learning. Yeah! Destroy this false angel.
My super weapon is ready. Try updating Regal. It's a it's a weak spot. Aim for it. Look at Regal closely. Damn it. We were so close. I guess it. Someone. Make sure to pick up my bones. Massive monad response ahead confirmed. It must be the mech in question. The captain always just called us by our IDs. She never called me by my name. I think I know why. Getting friendly is dangerous when you know you're going to die. Can I borrow your sword? I need to throw away my human feelings, just like the captain said. I wanted Kill the big one. to meet you again. It's really, it's really Julia's voice. Okay, upgrade. Oh, okay, it's this guy again. I am. Still. I'm just gonna bash him this time. I spent my whole life fighting. The captain would never see Okay, that's reaching his head a lot. But it's nowhere near his head. This world had no hopes or dreams. Okay, that's a new attack. I can't help but jump out of the way. About our memories. But, I had you. What in the world are we fighting again? Kill it. Do not be fooled by the enemy. That is not Captain Julia. You are my family. I feel like I'm going to go mad. Hey, by the way. The small mechs are no special for blood loss detected. This is dangerous. Really? That was my only joy. The only threat I'm getting is from the uh, big man. Stop it already! I could be with you again. Hey, by the way. Please, just, just stop talking. Massive monad response confirmed. Caution is advised. I can see my health regenerating. Okay, these guys are just stupid. Max, Yeah, is it dead yet? Julia! We did it. It's dead. Good job, guys. No enemy mech response. Remain on alert. The enemy's monad response is still active. Okay, guys. I don't think I'm going to be playing much more of this game. I do like the concept. I do like action arcade adventure games. I'm not a fan of storytelling though. I'd rather skip all this storytelling and just get straight into the action. I think that's why I like shooting games better than uh, melee combat type games. You get the idea for the game anyway. You can make your own conclusions. Thank you for watching. 
hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe show it to my little bell i'll see you in the next one bye